Ever wondered how cryptocurrency works? Today, we're going to demystify it for you. Cryptocurrency, in its simplest form, is a digital or virtual form of money. It's not tangible like the coins or notes in your wallet. Instead, it exists solely in the digital world. But don't let that fool you into thinking it's not real. Cryptocurrency has real value and is used by millions of people worldwide every day. What sets it apart from traditional currencies is its use of cryptography for security, making it incredibly difficult to counterfeit. Moreover, it's decentralized, meaning it's not governed by any central authority like a bank or government. Instead, it operates on a technology called blockchain, a public ledger containing all transaction data from anyone using a particular cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency isn't as complicated as it sounds, is it? Now let's delve deeper. Cryptocurrency didn't just appear out of thin air, it has a beginning, and that beginning is Bitcoin. Picture this, the year is 2009, and a mysterious entity using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto unveils Bitcoin to the world. To this day, Nakamoto's true identity remains a mystery, but their impact on the world of finance is undeniable. Bitcoin was not just another digital asset, it was the first ever decentralized cryptocurrency. Unlike traditional currencies, which are controlled by central banks, Bitcoin operates on a technology called blockchain, a distributed ledger enforced by a network of computers called nodes. This means no single institution controls Bitcoin. It's like a public ledger that everyone can see, but no one person or entity has control over. Why is this important, you ask? Well, this decentralization offers a level of transparency and security that traditional banking systems have struggled to provide. It eliminates the need for intermediaries, making transactions faster, cheaper and more efficient. It also gives individuals full control over their own money, which is a revolutionary concept in itself. Bitcoin's creation sparked a new era in the world of finance and technology paving the way for thousands of other cryptocurrencies. Each one of these has its own unique features and uses, but they all owe their existence to Bitcoin, the original cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin was the start of it all, but it certainly wasn't the end. While Bitcoin might have been the first, it's far from the only cryptocurrency out there. Indeed, with the advent of Bitcoin, a whole new world of digital currencies was born. Today, there are thousands of cryptocurrencies, each with its unique features and uses. Let's delve into some of the most popular ones. First, we have Ethereum, often considered the silver to Bitcoin's gold. Unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum is not just a digital currency. It's a blockchain-based platform with its own cryptocurrency, Ether. Ethereum offers something called smart contracts, self-executing contracts with the terms directly written into code. This allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications, opening up a world of possibilities. Next, let's talk about Ripple. It's a digital payment protocol that also has its own currency, XRP. While most cryptocurrencies aim to do away with traditional banking systems, Ripple seems to embrace them. Ripple's primary aim is to make international transactions faster and more efficient. So, if you're sending money overseas, Ripple might be the way to go. Then there's Litecoin, often referred to as the light version of Bitcoin. It was developed by Charlie Lee, a former Google engineer, with the intention of improving on Bitcoin. Litecoin offers faster transaction confirmation times and a different hashing algorithm. It's like Bitcoin, but lighter and faster. And these are just the tip of the iceberg. There's also Cardano, Polkadot, and Chainlink, each with its own unique features and uses. Some cryptocurrencies are designed for specific industries, like VeChain for supply chain management, or Dentacoin for the dental industry. What's fascinating is that while these cryptocurrencies all share the same basic principles as Bitcoin, they each bring something unique to the table. They're all part of this exciting evolving ecosystem of digital currencies, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the financial world. So there's a whole world of cryptocurrencies out there, but how do they actually work? Now that we know what cryptocurrencies are and some of the key players, let's explore how they actually work. Firstly, let's talk about blockchain, the backbone of cryptocurrencies. Imagine blockchain as a digital ledger, but unlike traditional ledgers, this one is public and decentralized. 
every single transaction that happens with a cryptocurrency is recorded on this ledger, and it's available for anyone to see. This transparency is one of the key reasons cryptocurrencies are considered secure. But how does a transaction happen? Let's say you want to send some of your bitcoins to a friend. You'd start by creating a transaction and signing it with your private key, a unique digital signature that identifies you as the sender. This transaction is then broadcasted to the network of computers, also known as nodes. Here's where the miners come in. Miners are individuals or groups that use their computing power to solve complex mathematical problems. These problems are essentially puzzles that need to be solved to verify the transactions. Once a miner solves the problem, they add the transaction to the blockchain. This process is known as mining, and it's how new units of cryptocurrency, like bitcoins, are created. Now, you might be wondering, why would anyone want to do this mining? Well, the answer is incentives. Miners are rewarded with a certain amount of cryptocurrency for every block they mine. This is how new cryptocurrency enters circulation and how miners make a profit. But what happens if two miners solve the problem at the same time and add different blocks to the chain? This is where the concept of consensus comes in. The network agrees to follow the longest chain, the one with the most work invested in it. The shorter chain gets abandoned and the transactions within it return to the pool to be added to later blocks. This is known as a fork. It's also worth noting that once a block is added to the blockchain, it's there forever. It can't be changed or removed. This immutability is another reason why cryptocurrencies are secure. So, you see, while cryptocurrencies might seem like a mere digital coin, the process behind each transaction is a complex and intricate dance involving cryptography, computing power, and consensus. It's a complex process, but the beauty of it is that you don't need to understand all the technical details to use cryptocurrency. You might be wondering why people use cryptocurrencies and how they get their value. Well, you're not alone in your curiosity. Cryptocurrencies have many uses, and their value is derived in an interesting way. For starters, one of the most common uses of cryptocurrencies is for online transactions. They're like digital cash that can be used to buy goods and services on the internet. Some businesses have started accepting cryptocurrencies as a form of payment, and this trend is likely to continue as more people embrace digital currencies. Cryptocurrencies are also used for investment purposes. Many people buy and hold cryptocurrencies with the hope that their value will increase over time. It's a bit like buying stocks or real estate, but with a digital twist. Cryptocurrencies can be a risky investment though as their value can fluctuate dramatically in a short period. But then again, high risk can also mean high reward. Now, let's talk about how cryptocurrencies get their value. Unlike traditional currencies, which are backed by governments, cryptocurrencies are not supported by a physical commodity like gold or silver. Instead, their value comes from supply and demand. The more people want a particular cryptocurrency, the higher its price goes. And the less demand there is for a cryptocurrency, the lower its price drops. Further, the value of cryptocurrencies is also influenced by their utility. For example, Ethereum, another popular cryptocurrency, is not just a form of digital money. It also powers smart contracts and decentralized applications on its network, which increases its utility and, consequently, its value. In conclusion, cryptocurrencies serve multiple purposes. They're used for online transactions, investments, and even to power digital applications. Their value comes from supply and demand, as well as the unique utilities they provide. Cryptocurrency is more than just a digital currency. It's a new way of doing business. So there you have it, a beginner's guide to cryptocurrency. We've journeyed from the birth of Bitcoin, the pioneer of cryptocurrencies, to exploring the diverse landscape of other types of digital currencies. We've demystified how these digital currencies work and examined their use and value in our modern world. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Cryptocurrency and its potential impacts on society are vast and ever-evolving. It's a fascinating field that's redefining how we understand and interact with money. So we encourage you to keep learning, keep exploring, and keep questioning. Remember, knowledge is power. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the Momentum Mentoring YouTube channel.
For more insights into the world of online earning, don't forget to visit our ebook store. The link is in the description. Learn to earn online.